Beyonce said it best, real one, boss. If you want to hear my definition of a boss or what I consider a boss to be, please continue to watch. Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree. Welcome. If you are returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much and welcome back. Today is a video request. This video request comes from LaShonda. She says, hey Sheree, you may have done one already, but if you haven't, can you please do a video on high power executive fragrances, aka boss. I got you. I have 10 fragrances to share with you that I think would be perfect for any boss. Okay, you guys, you know I have a couple of scenarios to paint. Let me just start with my definition of a boss. The woman that I've seen as a boss woman in my life, well, two of them to be um, exact. Well, well, okay. Well, I'm gonna talk about two of them. My grandmother and then my mom. My grandmother is a boss woman. Well, she was a boss woman. She's no longer here. A boss woman of prayer. I just watched this woman pray no matter what it was, her faith just got her through. You know what I mean? No matter what it was, she would take it to God and she would pray about it. And then the other boss woman in my life is my mom. There is nothing that she feels is impossible. I have seen this woman bounce back from everything. With her as a guide and as a mother, I'm trying not to get emotional. Um, she is a true definition of a boss woman. Now, there's many different women who wear hats that are boss, whether you're a homemaker, whether you are um, a stay-at-home mom, whether you are a teacher and you teach your children at home, whether you are a boss, whether you're a nurse, a lawyer, a doctor, a VP, um, you know, <laughs> whether you're an executive, no matter what it is, whether you're an entrepreneur, you earn your own, you own your own business, it doesn't matter. Whatever you define a boss to be, I'm going to share some fragrances to you that a boss woman can wear. I don't know why I'm so emotional you guys I do know why I'm emotional oh my gosh ladies okay you already know anyways let's get into these fragrances I'm coming in no particular order I am gonna give you a little bit of scenario and the woman in the little bit of the notes as well so I'm gonna start with this one here I have a full dedicated video to this one this is Bottega Veneta this is a rich creamy executive Wall Street pencil skirt Chanel okay you don't have to wear Chanel you guys anything you want I'm just saying Chanel cuz um yeah I have a Chanel story time coming it was corrected cuz she handled it like a boss okay but anyways so yes this one here would be an amazing fragrance to wear tweet a Chanel blazer like I said pencil skirt suit briefcase whatever it is going in to you know take the case by storm shutting it down confident head held high okay not looking around not looking down okay so this Bottega Veneta would be a great way to go this is a creamy rich leathery fragrance patchouli bergamot pink pepper it is a beautiful fragrance they have a newer one out you guys, but it's the original for me. Of course, let's just say this, Baccarat Rouge 540. Like it or love it, it is a boss fragrance. This fragrance commands a little something. I'm just getting in from the mall right now, you guys. I perused through the mall. I was at a huge mall, tons of fragrances. I walked through all the different departments, you guys. When it came to Baccarat Rouge 540, they had a station up. I stopped, I looked over there, and I was like, oh my God, it smells familiar. If it was Baccarat Rouge 540, this fragrance stands out. Yes, it does disappearing act. It comes, it goes, you can't smell it. People around you can smell it it's hyped up but for a good reason it is an amazing fragrance this has saffron in it ambergris has musky it's woody it's cedar wood you guys this is a boss fragrance I can see an executive wearing this you can wear this into the courtroom you can wear this if you sat on a board and you were gonna go in for meetings you can wear this you wouldn't be off putting you wouldn't be in your face they would smell you and if they knew they would definitely be like oh my gosh she has great taste. I move on. Okay, now another thing, when we think of boss women, I oftentimes think of Michelle Obama. And the fragrance that she was rumored to wear is Love and White. Now this, if you're a nurse, if you're a doctor, if you work in a dental office, something like that, Creed Love and White would be a great fragrance. It's soft, it's elegant, it's classy, it's sophisticated. It's doing the most without doing the most at all. It's a very low key, but not because it has a presence, but it's just not in your face. So it's like, you know how some people have to come in and swing the bat to get the job done? this lady can just walk in and just exert herself without making anyone feel uncomfortable but she can totally get the job done this is Creed love and white beautiful beautiful fragrance it's not my favorite and I've said that before it's not my favorite but it's definitely a beautiful fragrance and I think it's definitely a boss fragrance like I said it has iris cynic magnolia it's got vanilla ambergris sandalwood mayrose it is a beautiful fragrance if you have not gotten a whiff of this I highly recommend it I move on now this is definitely a boss fragrance okay you guys Cormando Cormando by Chanel Les Exclusive line. This is amazing. This is heavy. 
Um, this would be a suit, pencil skirt, and then a blazer and a nice, you know, mock turtleneck, something like that. I'm just saying, I'm just trying to paint the picture for you. This is really, really good. I see this in the courtroom, in the boardroom. I see this on Wall Street. I see this negotiating deals. I see this coming in with confidence and this woman has done her homework. She knows what she's talking about. Another thing about putting on a fragrance that's going to make you feel a certain type of way is to have your facts in order or as my grandmother would say, have your ducks in a row. You know what I mean? Know what you're talking about. Be confident. Be strong. Be assertive but not aggressive. There's a difference. Assertive, aggressive. Know the difference. This woman here would wear that. This is a warm spicy. It's an oriental fragrance. Oh my gosh. It's super, super good. Patchouli, benzoin, frankincense. That is Chanel Cremando beautiful fragrance I move on now on a softer note maybe she's a lawyer okay maybe she is you know new in her field she just made junior partner something like that she's new and she's coming in she's you know making her own way creating a name for herself doing the darn thing and she might be wearing or rocking something like Chloe but not just the original she's doing it with a little bit more pizzazz and that is Chloe Nomad this is also a little sexy you guys all of these are gonna be a little sexy okay hello this is my collection we're talking about if it's not sexy I don't even want it in my collection boss no boss she still has to be sexy okay now that we got that out the way you guys this says plum it has oak sandalwood it's fruity it's elegant it's grace it's sophisticated it's classy this can go from the boardroom to the room okay yeah you heard it here first this is everything I absolutely love this. This is soft. It's not heavy. It's not in your face. It's not off-putting. This is beautiful. Definitely Chloe Nomad. This is a new release. This came out in 2020. There is another one, but I am talking about the newer one. I move on. Now this lady right here, she would be me. I would definitely rock this. This is a boss, confident, strong, okay? opinionated even I might say I'm just saying I'm not saying that's not a bad thing you're not gonna woo or persuade her she has her own mind her mind is made up she's determined she's driven she's educated okay she knows exactly what she wants she's there to handle business and she's rocking cocoa this here is clove leather peach sandalwood and tonka bean it's a beautiful fragrance it definitely has Oh my gosh, it definitely has a presence. Now this one has a presence. So let's say that you walked into the office or what have you and you were there and you left out. The room would still smell like you. Once you were coming or going, it would still smell like you. This definitely has a longevity of, a, all of these have great longevity because they're stronger fragrances. Chloe Nomad gives you about five to six hours, but this one has a really strong fragrance. I mean, this one has really a strong longevity and that's gonna give you about six to eight hours and that is Coco by Chanel. I move on. A lot of my fragrances for boss women are going to be from Chanel because that's just what I think of when I think of a boss woman. I think of Chanel. I think of even Coco Mademoiselle. I don't have that on this list, but whether you would choose to go with Intense or the regular Coco Mademoiselle, that would be a fabulous choice as well. It is heavy on the patchouli, but in a good way. So if you like patchouli, definitely check that out. I would highly recommend it. I move on. This lady is mysterious. She's going to have an opinion, okay? she's not gonna take no for an answer she's not backing down from any deal if they set her out to go do it she's gonna come back and have the job done the bag secured and all is well in the neighborhood I'm just saying this one here is Neroli Jasmine peach rose sandalwood leather it's kind of hot it's kind of heavy yes it's kind of sexy oh my gosh oh my goodness I'm gonna say this one is a heavier scent you guys oh my gosh yeah she's definitely gonna close the deal she's definitely gonna close the deal and she will be rocking Centau Royale by Guerlain I move on another thing I'll take a few moments just to tell you another boss woman now you guys these are boss women that you see on TV think about Kerry Washington the role that she played in Scandal boss you know what I mean she had the weight of the world on her shoulder it seems like she always walked with one of these coats and she had that walk and you would just be like oh my gosh what is she going to solve now you know what I mean a woman like that is probably oh my god what would she be rocking I don't think she would be rocking anything playful you know what I mean oh Oh, should I put this on that? She was probably rocking Coco. <laughs> Coco Noir. This has Tonka Bean Patchouli. I talk about this fragrance on the channel all the time, you guys. This is a classic. This is a favorite. This is definitely a boss fragrance. Not only is this a boss fragrance, it is a boss fragrance. It is classy. It is sophisticated. And it's definitely sexy. I just think that some women who our bosses are just sexy at the same time it just is what it is sometimes we just have that certain je ne sais quoi and it counts for that and this fragrance is definitely doing that if you have not and you're looking for something you know 
as a confident booster, as something to just, you know, put your chest up a little bit higher, hold your chin up, you know, floor level. Hello, excuse me. This would definitely be a way to go. I move on. Another one would be, this one is strong. Okay, this one is definitely going to be saying something without you saying something. This is definitely going to make it to the meeting room before you do. This is the type of boss to me. And this, uh, these are the type of bosses that I love that can lead from the back of the room and don't have to be in the front of the room. And if you caught that, go ahead and hit the like button. I'll never forget, I had a boss. Her name was Liz. Hey, Liz. And she didn't wear this. She didn't wear this. I'll share with you the fragrance that she wore. She was so beautiful. And she had so much class and so much dignity and so much grace and just she was so sophisticated and so elegant and she would dress to the nine everything matched not one hair was out of place not one nail oh was undone you guys, I haven't returned back to the nail shop yet, okay? Not one nail was undone. Not one stitch of makeup was, you know, out of place. She was just amazing. She was the epitome of a woman who was well put together, had it together, and she was here. But she had a way of making her whole team, me being on her team, feel like here. She never made anyone feel less than. She never made anyone feel like, I'm the boss and you work for me. She never did that. She had a certain charisma about herself that she just made everyone feel important. And I always knew when she entered the building because I would get a whiff of her fragrance. She wore something Bond. It was beautiful. Oh my God, I'm gonna put it up because I, I, I can smell that fragrance right now today. Just talking about it, not even smelling it. I went out after, you know, I was no longer working there and I bought that fragrance because I wanted to be a woman like that. I wanted to be that classy, sophisticated and she is hello woman that exuded that and it was a certain fragrance and to me this fragrance does that this is sycamore by chanel vetiver cedar vanilla fresh spicy earthy oh my gosh it's very warm it's a beautiful fragrance it is more of a heavier fragrance it is definitely a unisex fragrance so i would definitely say don't blind buy any of these definitely if you can try them before you buy them but this right here is definitely a boss fragrance i move on another one would be uh twilly d hermes that would be a great boss fragrance this is something you could wear into the office if you have your own office your cubicle your boss you probably have your own quarter office on the 24th floor you know why i would picture wearing this so since we've been home i've been watching a lot of girlfriends joan joan had her own office remember girlfriend you're my girlfriend you know <clears throat> that's why they kicked me out the choir at church because i lost my voice but this one here i can see joan rocking something like this this is really really good i always tell you guys it's the ginger note for me it's a warm spicy it's beautiful it'd be perfect for spring and summer if you were gonna blind buy any of these this is the one i would suggest that you blind buy this is good good i move on it's easy it's easy i haven't really met anybody that said they didn't like truly dear mess how de fatty by pin Halligans is definitely a boss fragrance this is rich this is class this is excellence this is upper echelon this is hello darling yes bring the car around and let them know that I'll be done at five and clear my calendar I have dinner plans with Jake after five you know what I mean this is one of those oh my god that fragrance gave me that whole story oh I tell you guys I can only give to you what the fragrance gives to me and this is what this fragrance is giving to me this is everything if you don't have any fragrance and you're a boss you need this fragrance if you are a boss if you are an executive you are you know that type of life and you're about that type of life and you have that this is one fragrance that you need in your collection you guys it's a pretty penny but I highly recommend that you get a sample of it because in my opinion it is good good this is pin Halligans. this is how fetty like I said everything will be linked in the description box below so make sure you check that out there and that is it for this video you guys i hope that you have enjoyed this video these are just a few if you would like to see a part two leave it down in the description box we have a lot of bosses watching the channel so make sure that you help somebody out leave down in the comment section below what do you consider a boss fragrance to be don't forget to come over and connect with me on instagram you guys i love these type of videos women uplifting women women sharing different things so if there's any other videos that you would like to see please leave it in the comment section below i truly appreciate you lashonda for watching the channel 
channel thank you for your video recommendation there was somebody else after you who commented and said she wanted to see this video too so shout out to you ladies boss women keep doing what you're doing you are loved you are respected and you are appreciated this video is going to come out before mother's day so i'm going to say this in advance i am wishing all of you beautiful women a happy mother's day that is it for this video you guys until next time you know the drill be blessed stay fit and definitely stay fabulous darlings bye